Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Ready from Ready's Rise. We are here at Daytona International Speedway for the 2022 edition of the Rolex 24. And guess what? We have that one car lots of people are talking about once again. This is it. This is the return of the Type S badge. This is a 2022 Acura NSX Type S. But before we get into this bright, in the yellow of a supercar, let's talk about what's going on here. Acura, that premium brand from Honda, has been around since 1986. Doesn't seem like that long ago, but really, time has flown by. Now, with the NSX, the first NSX first hit the streets in the early 1990s. It was all about pure lightness, naturally aspirated V6 power, and really showcased to the world what this brand was capable of. Now, after that original generations went away, they brought back the NSX in 2016. Now, doing a part two, doing a second take, things changed over the years, and some of the official diehard fans were a little disappointed. One thing is for certain though, when it comes to technology, when it comes to performance, Acura really did the business with this NSX, and for its last time, this is it. This is the final year of this NSX. They are now taking it to a new level with the NSX Type S. And we're not just talking about more power, we're talking about in an enhanced complete package. So what I want to find out is they made 350 of them. 300 of them are coming to the United States. Is it now or never to buy an accurate NSX Type S? Or should you go for one of the other supercars, including that upcoming Z06? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into our that beautiful metallic pearlescent indie yellow and find out. Right off the bat, the color fits it to the T. Like I said, it's not just about extra horsepower. We have changes to the front end. Totally redesigned front fascia. This is what it should have been back in 2016, or at least a little earlier than 2022, but they did it, and it's looking great. You're gonna have the multi-jewel LED headlights that flow nicely from left to right. You got your LED turn signal and daytime running lamp, and here's where you're gonna see the changes. Massive and large corner air intakes. I love the wire mesh finish. You can see the heat exchangers peeking from behind. Ours has the carbon fiber package, so you're gonna get this beautiful carbon fiber front splitter that's going to help scoop gobs of air into those vents and then stop air from going underneath the vehicle especially here at daytona because remember that creates lift we want downforce and this yellow banana is going to be pushed down to where it almost becomes a banana split as we come across the front section you do have just a splattering of gloss black and if you're hearing race cars right now cars are on the track for one of the classes that races during this weekend. So we apologize for the noise, but that's just one of those things. When you're a racing fan, you breathe, live, sleep, eat, and are all about that noise. So I'm kind of glad to have it going on, but just a little bit of gloss black, nothing crazy. You'll see the extension and then the massive wide opening on the lower section here. That's gonna flow all that air right to the front of the car. Air is gonna curve around. And guess what? If you think that this is just a walk around review, it's not. Stay in this video because we're going on the high banks with this car. I love the width. I love the, the way they tuck the shape and just, it's all about channeling the air. And by channeling the air, you get it to where it needs to go and you produce the downforce just like you hear the race cars on the track need that downforce. I like the blacked out Acura badge on the nose, especially with the Indy yellow. And then when we go up onto that front nose section, they kept the wire mesh. It matches what's on the corners up top. That's gonna be all for aerodynamics because you wanna stop air from getting trapped underneath the fenders and the front nose section. As we come around the bend, our NSX has the optional weight reduction package. It's a $13,000 option, 
but I think you'll find you're getting a lot for the money. Coming around the bend, we have these special forged wheels. Forged wheel, lighter than cast aluminum, forged aluminum, looking good. This gray satin finish looks exquisite. We have that gunmetal metallic gray six piston Brembo calipers with the NSX badge are gonna clamp down on our super size, pizza size ceramic, carbon ceramic brake rotors. Remember, this is technology that was originally on Formula One cars and is now on the NSX. To put it in perspective, if you're saying that the package seems pricey, normally on cars like Porsche 911s, that's a $10,000 option by itself. So for $13,000, you're getting the wheels, you're getting the carbon ceramic brake rotors, and you're getting a bunch of carbon fiber all over this thing. Wait, I'm gonna show you more. But I love the colors. Everything looks sexy and seductive. 19 inch wheels up front wrapped with those Pirelli P0 tires. Wait until we get out back. Speaking of out back, let's cruise on down the side. I'm gonna have Lori kind of spin around, show you how they have the nice cutout here to help flow that air from the front down the side of the vehicle. We have a little bit of gloss black on the mirror caps. You do have your turn singles nice and slim. And then the side profile is super duper sexy. Now standard is gonna be the carbon fiber roof. Last year, last model year, that was a $6,000 option. So we have the carbon fiber roof with the yellow, everything coasting towards the rear. You're gonna have gloss black on the door handles, which are super nice and flush. And then I'm gonna have Lori kind of spin around and show the flying buttress and the way that you can see the intercoolers for our twin turbocharged V6. Because remember, we have two electric motors up front, one electric motor in the back, and the twin turbo V6 to give us that super handling, all wheel drive traction that we crave. But I love the way they angled everything. You got your tight bass badge, nothing too gaudy, some carbon fiber. Look at that beautiful carbon fiber down the side of the vehicle. And then the rear. Coming into the rear, you'll notice what we got 20 inch wheels out back, 305s on the width to give us that grip with the all wheel drive carbon ceramic brake rotors, bigger than the silver dollar pancakes that I had this morning at IHOP. Just phenomenal, the braking technology and the technology that's underneath this rear engine hatch. And then one of my favorite parts of the NSX is this right here, the way that they got this nice just flow to it. Sexy, seductive, sleek. And then you have this massive carbon fiber rear spoiler. This is part of the weight reduction package. Give us the downforce. And then speaking of down, dropping it down, you're gonna get your LED lighting. Looking clean, just like before. We have revised rear fascia, so you're gonna have the functional rear vents with the wire mesh. And then that massive, carbon fiber rear diffuser. This is right off of a GT3 race car. Look at the actual stakes that they have to channel the air. You got your exhaust opening here with the three outlets. Really looking fantastic. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much weight do I save? You're saving over 50 pounds with the carbon ceramic brake rotors, all the carbon fiber goodies, but there's more. Let's go ahead. Let's pop this engine hatch and talk horsepower in our NSX Type S. Guys, we got the engine hatch open, and what's awesome is, is with the extra horsepower, that's been done through the development work with the NSX GT3 race car. Just like the carbon fiber rear diffuser I showed you, that's been developed from the race car. Engine bits from the race program in the street car. So underneath the engine hatch, because we have that carbon fiber weight reduction package, the engine is totally encased in carbon fiber. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a piece of art that would be in the Louvre right in Paris. You do have a Type S badge with a number plate. This is a pre-production, so that's what the 000 is all about. There is the heart of the beast, almost like an alien heart. That bright red on the intake plenum, the NSX badge looking sweet. But what are we looking at? We're looking at a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 with the electric motors are now producing 600 horsepower. So that's more horsepower than last year. 492 pound-feet of torque. We got the super handling all-wheel drive, that nine-speed DCT, dual-clutch transmission with the dry sump oil system that allows you to have the perfect amount of oil lubrication, especially when you're going through the twisty bits at Daytona. 
zero to 60 in less than 2.7 seconds, top speed more than 191 miles an hour. What did they change to accomplish this? Fuel injectors have been large, larger intercoolers, turbos, and we're now running at 16.1 pounds of boost. So nice to see that touch with the brakes, with the aero, you even still have your storage. So don't think that you can't use this car. It's still usable with a little bit of storage, not as much as a C8 Corvette, but who cares? Because we got 600 horsepower. I also wanna show you some of the other colors. And one of them is an optional paint color. It's a $6,000 option, but this might really kind of float your boat. It's called Gotham Gray, special to the Type S this last year. Now there is discussion that they are gonna bring the NSX name back maybe one time down the road, but it's gonna be probably a full EV, an electric vehicle. So this is your chance. Like I said, have that performance, have that technology, but also have that NSX name. Love the Long Beach Blue. We actually brought this to you while we were in Long Beach. Remember that walk around that we did? But you got your Gotham Gray, and then of course this beautiful dark red finish. This is actually the first one in the country. And where are these being built? Guess what, they're being built right here in the United States, in Ohio, designed, built, engineered, and then delivered to you. But while we go ahead, we got this Indy Yellow. Let's fire her up and hear what she sounds like. inside now this 2022 Acura NSX Type S. So incredible to be in this car because like we pointed out, we're at Daytona. It's the Rolex 24. Acura is on the pole and we are in the last. This is the end of the line for now in the current form of the NSX. And what better way to do it than to have this special trim more than a trim, a special model known as the Type S. Now, obviously we're comparing this to the competition, other supercars out there, people kind of underrating the NSX, I think over the years since they came back with the redesign in this current generation, but how much is it? I know you're saying to yourself, Joe, how much is this NSX Type S? Well, first of all, remember, they're making 350 of them and that is gonna make it ultra exclusive so msrp starting is one hundred seventy one thousand dollars. now the one that we're in has the ultra lightweight package now before i tell you the total price and you're saying to yourself well joe 171 thousand dollars seems like a lot more one thing that you get standard that was on an option last year that was optional last year is the carbon fiber roof that alone is a six thousand dollar option which you get now standard on the type s but ours has the ultra lightweight package so we have the carbon ceramic brake rotors we got wonderful touches of carbon fiber that is going to add to the total around thirteen thousand dollars and you are saving about 58 pounds so a little over two hundred thousand dollars for this nsx type s let's see if this is the ultimate when it comes to that super handling all-wheel drive supercar, let's go to the door panels, to the door panels. The leather, the stitching looks phenomenal. I love the Alcantara material, the silver trim, a little bit of gloss black, and then going from the door panel to the dash, you'll see all the material here. The nice soft leather, the silver trim, the Alcantara, there's our Type S embroidery. I wish that they would have got rid of these honeycomb grill fake things in here. So I am going to zonk that. But when you get to the infotainment side of things, you do have the white contrast stitching, the wonderful Alcantara. Now I know you're going to say, well, Joe, that infotainment system looks very dated. And I would say you're right. There has not been any changes to the system since the introduction, which was back in 2016. So something to think about back in 2016, this was a little bit closer to the technology, but because they haven't done a total redesign, there was no 
point in changing this. And now that it's the end of the line, this is the navigation that you get. You can see that they actually use an actual Acura NSX as your icon there. You got your start stop button. You got your dynamic mode selector switch to go through the different modes. I'll show you more of that when you get to the business side of things. The dual climate is easy to figure out, easy to control. Of course, we're gonna have that DCT transmission. So we have, this is gonna control the nine speed DCT dual clutch transmission, all push button. You do have heated seats, no ventilated seats. And on a $200,000 car, that is a Zonk, but we have more horsepower, remember. So that's the big news. Alcantara NSX badging going on in the center. You do have your key fob, and they did do a special Type S NSX key fob there. Looking really good. Spin it around, you got your silver buttons. You could probably fit maybe a Twinkie here. But you know what? You got more room right underneath here. This lifts up. Look at all the Twinkie storage. Plus you have a USB A. No wireless charging, which is a bummer, but I think the Twinkie spot is important because you're gonna give that to the competition, the Ferrari owners, the Lamborghini owners, while they're crying, tell them to get a Kleenex, wipe their tears, and eat their Twinkie. Talk about Twinkie. Twinkie, white cream filled, orchid white on the seats, nice soft leather. Look at the freaking, just the wonderful Alcantara material all the way down. Nice adjustments on the passenger, full electric assist. Alcantara all over the inside. It's like petting your favorite pussycat. Wonderful. With that twin turbo V6 right behind us. But you know what? Why don't you come over the business end? I got a flat bottom carbon fiber infused steering wheel I want to show you. Come on over. Hi guys, inside this Indy yellow NSX, really making that connection to the first original generation of yellow love the color love the amount of room that you have in here i'm six feet tall get your racing helmet on and get ready because remember we're going to be going on throttle on the track here at daytona power seats easy to get to the controls one two three simplicity the foot box is like a race car you got your aluminum dead pedal brake and throttle perfect amount of space for the pedal box and then like i said steering wheel the leather, the carbon fiber, flat black on the buttons. Yeah, it may not be up to some other standards that you have in your mind, but the performance and the driving experience and what this car represents is absolutely stunning. You do have metal paddles behind the wheel to go up and down that nine speed DCT transmission. And then the dash, check it out. You got that digital display in the center with the physical bezel. I go through the different modes and it actually shows you how you make those adjustments. Quiet mode is full EV. You got sport, you got sport plus, and then you hold it down and that's gonna then take you into track mode, which remember we are here at Daytona and we're gonna be doing the business on the high banks but just a special car, and this is it. You want one? This is your last chance to get an NSX, brand new, especially Type S. But if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's get the helmet on, and let's hit the racetrack here at Daytona. I do. Am I ruining your video? No, I, I want ruin, you in my video. Am I ruining your video? Is that your hubs? <laughs> That's him Man, right there. Like guy. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, very special on throttle, on track experience here at Daytona International Speedway in the all new 2022 accurate nsx type s we're going to be behind professional honda driver ryan eversley right there who's going to do the business 
Ryan's gonna do the business, lean us around. Do you have permission to be in here? I think so, okay. maybe, possibly. So we're gonna do one time by the start finish line okay. and come back in. Okay. So what I'll do on the start finish line, I'm gonna turn on the turn signal or somewhere around here. Okay. And that means you slow down, let this guy go by, so he gets to the seat right by. Okay, me as well. sure, sure, right? sure, sure. Okay. Remember, these are cool tires, sure. even though they're street tires. Yeah. It does make a difference. The first lap, we just kind of. So are we gonna ro like just just the one rotation? Just the one rotation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'll have I have a mic, so you'll be able to hear me. Okay. And I hope okay. you'll hear you be able to hear okay. me. Okay. Perfect. 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 Right. Thanks, man. But this is a really special event to be able to share with you. We're gonna see what 600 horsepower, super handling all wheel drive, and all the other great technology that Acura has developed for this car, and all the changes from chassis to suspension to the way that the DCT behaves, that nine speed dual clutch transmission. It's gonna be like a hot knife through butter, but if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna be hitting the track here. Here we go, guys.
the way the boost builds, it is so different. It is so different from your regular Type S, your regular NSX, this Type S, so much different. The way the power kicks in, everything, it just is phenomenal. The changes, all of the small changes equal the big, huge picture. Absolutely great. Acura really did a great job. <laughs> wow, 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 guys. I'm telling you right now, the small changes, everything equaling up to the big picture, the turbo boost, the way that the car steers, brakes, it is one of those phenomenal things that you really got to experience. And I think Acura has hit the nail on the head. But obviously, we're here at Daytona. Tomorrow's the big day for the race. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap this one up from Daytona. All right, guys, it's been an amazing time here at the Rolex 24 with this Indy Yellow Acura NSX Type S. Let me know what you think. But before you do, I definitely got to thank the whole Acura team for inviting us here for this event so that we could share it to you. Let me know what you think. How is that on throttle experience on the high banks for you? It is something I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. Very, very special car, but is it the ultimate supercar that you would buy? Put it in the comment section. It's now or never one of 300 here in the United States. There's 50 other, but you're gonna to have to go travel after those. 300 here in the United States. Let me know what you would do. Put it in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raiders Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raiders Rides merch. Got to give it up to the race queen. She is being honored here as the official videographer of Daytona International Speedway. Thank you, Lori. Congratulations. Show her some love in that comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.